been massive! YouTube, Louis Davis here with the Terrible Twins. Today we're going to be putting you through a Terrible Twins back workout. Something a little bit different for you. Um, I want to explain a few things before you watch the video. When we train our back, we're really aware of the fact it's a huge muscle group and shots and sh um, shows are won from behind. So it's not an area that we, we do half-heartedly. We split the training sessions when we train our back up into two sessions during a week. We'll do a shape session and a heavy compound session so we get the detail as well as the mass. Today you're going to see a shaping session. We're going to work our way into working sets. Not through pre-exhausting, just by doing, say, four sets of 20, 25 reps to get the muscle awake. We then do four working sets. In today's video, you're going to see one working set of each and every exercise that we do. Give it a try at home. Louis Davis training with a, a new training partner today, Craig Gibson. So when you see him on the page, be sure to like and share his videos because he's showing on September the 19th and we need all the support you can get. Peace and love. First exercise then YouTube, lap pull down. Working on the whip for the back. I want to give you guys a little bit of a tip. Try suicide gripping the bar today. It's easy when you train your back, when you've got your thumb wrapped around the bar to pull with your bicep. Which is when you train your back, often people get bicep pump. We don't want that. So today I want you to grip the bar like this. Pull down with the elbows, engaging mind to muscle connection, so the lats are engaged and they get that pump. Enjoy. Right then, second exercise, you see my work is set on the lap pull downs. Seated row is a big one, especially if you're getting ready for a bodybuilding show. A lot of the exercises you should incorporate basically when you're getting ready for a show, when you're trying to build that perfect physique for yourself, is the type of poses you're going to be doing on stage. With the, um, the seated row, it's like when the, the guy says to you on stage, show your back. We mimic the same movement now in this. What I want you to concentrate on is keeping that elbows in. Not bending too far over so you don't engage the bottom of the spine and it's actually your lats that you're working. Watch out, step back a minute. I've got the handle. I'm going to warm up now, you'll see my working set in a second, but I'm constantly focusing on that mind to muscle connection, getting the lat engaged. I'm leaning over to stretch my lat, pulling back with my elbows and getting that contraction. Getting blood to the desired area means growth. Growth, growth. Third exercise now, we're getting nice and warm, a dead stop row. Something a little bit different for everyone, pendule rows. What we're going to do is basically bend over at a right angle, a little bit further than as if we were doing a normal barbell row, and it's going to call a dead stop. So we bend over, we put the weight on the floor, we relax for a second, we get the mind where it needs to be, and we rip it up, controlling our back, using our lats and not rocking. The reason I've gone for this as opposed to a normal barbell row, I'm looking at shape now. I've got a show coming up. I can barbell row four plates aside, four twenties aside. Ego's in my back pocket. Now it's about bringing a good physique. I'm gonna demonstrate one before you see my working set. Leg shoulder width apart. So just by doing that, it takes out the momentum. There's no cheating and it's actually the muscle desired that I'm working. Enjoy. Exercise in this terrible twins back workout today. 
I've improvised it. When I first got on stage or first went from professional boxing into bodybuilding, I was really narrow. I wasn't dense, I wasn't a thick set. I looked okay from the front. When I turned to the side, I basically nearly fucking disappeared. Where's Louis gone? So what I've done with this exercise, it's a cross between a lap pull down and a seated row in regards to the handle and the positioning that I'm using. Um, it's designed to build the rear shoulder and upper lat area. So when you're showing yourself from behind, you look nice and dense. You're not just a wide, big lump. You have a little bit of density and detail. This is my working set now. Like I said, we've built into our working sets today. So when you're trying this workout, even though we've only give you four exercises, remember there's probably 10 sets in each one. You can't get into the gym, rush your workout, then get out. You've got to put the time in to ensure you cause enough damage to grow. Don't rush, remember it's not about your ego, it's about stimulating growth. Bodybuilders, not powerlifters, travel the finest reps from this chocolate motherfucking demigod. You love it, don't you? It's time to get pumped and get excited. We could be sending you on an all-American trip of a lifetime. You could be road tripping from LA to Vegas in a Mustang, then hit the Big Apple Free NYC Shopping Fest. It's 14 days of USA awesomeness. Just log into the members area of our website or use our mobile app for your chance to win. Terms and conditions apply. Head to the online members area or speak to a member of the team for more details. Pure gym. Enjoy fitness.